Hey fellow gliders, I'm here back with another tutorial for you. This one is going to be pretty interesting. It's going to be how to put in your user data into any tab within your app. So let's say all of your user profile data is in one tab. How do you get it so that every other tab in your app can display the user profile name? Maybe like a welcome message on one tab or the user, the, the points that your users have accumulated on a different tab, right? You no longer have to do lookups and relations. You can simply use the new user profile sheet to do so. There was a slight little hack that we were able to do just recently in order to get this functionality to work, but it had still involved relations and lookups. Previously, what we had to do was create an if-then column, and this, you had to create that if-then column in your user profile sheet. And the if-then was if the email is the signed-in user, then you can establish some sort of keyword, I did true for mine, else blank. So now I have the word true because right now Robert Petito, me, is the signed-in user. If I were to switch the user to somebody else, you see that I'm no longer the signed in user, I'm somebody else, and that somebody else is this person. Okay, so with that little hack, you could then do a relation to the word true in a different sheet, and then do a lookup for the information that we wanted to pull in to that other sheet. Don't need to do any of that anymore. Now it's super, super simple. All you have to do is create a template column. So for example, maybe on my daily challenge page, I want to give a little welcome to the user. Okay, all I have to do is first establish user profiles. Let me do a quick tutorial on that. So uh, what you have to do is set up your sheet so that it's using public with email or whitelist and um, under the sign-in page here. Once you do that, then you have to set up your user profile sheet and you simply just go to your layout view, go to the menu, tap your name, and then select the sheet that's gonna house all of your user profile data, and you have to include a name, an email address, and an image column. All right, I've already done that. All right, so now I can take advantage of this in every other tab in my app. For example, again, that daily challenge, I wanna create a welcome banner that welcomes that person to that page, and I wanna use their name in the welcome. So here I'm gonna add a column. I'm gonna call it welcome and I'm gonna make it a template column. Okay, so here I'm gonna include my welcome message. I'm gonna use some markdown text as well to include a header, then the person's name, and then a message. Uh, complete a challenge below. All right, and now I wanna replace the word name with their actual name. So under the replacements, I'm gonna type that in. And then scroll all the way down to the bottom for the replacements and you should see a user section here with all of the glorious user data that you've set up in your user profile sheet. And so here I'm just gonna simply grab their name and now you see that because I am the current signed in user, I see my name here, all right? I'm gonna hit done. And just to test it out, I'm gonna pick somebody else and I'm gonna preview as and you see that that person's name is there instead. So it'll change dynamically based on who is signed in at the moment. So now that I have this template here in my layout view, I can come back to my challenges page. I'm gonna create a new column. I'll make it rich text since I included some markdown text in there. And for my source column, I'm gonna choose that welcome column. And there we go. So that includes my name because I am the person signed in. And then I simply just drag this up to the top and that becomes my new header. So you see, I recently did this with a column that I created. I created a, um, a template column. It's got their experience points on one side and their um, in-app currency on the other. This data is living in the profile page. And then I was able to simply uh, create that template and now on each tab, I have that same information, and so it forms a uniform header on all of my tabs. 
So now I have this nice consistent header on all the tabs for that user profile. So hopefully this has helped, and if you have any questions, feel free to email me at robert.petito at woodward.edu, and as always, thanks for watching.